Hi everyone, welcome to Understand Heart, where we learn about anything and everything heart related. Today, we will be explaining the conduction system of the heart and how it relates to the tracing on the ECG. These are the timestamps of the topics I'm covering, so let's get started. So what are the components that makes up the conduction system? The conduction system is made up of a pacemaker, also known as sinoatrial node, which sits in the top right half of the heart. The atrioventricular node, which sits between the top and the bottom half of the heart, and the subsequent fibers, which relays electrical signals from the top to the bottom half of the heart. And an analogy that I normally like to use is that the conduction system of the heart is like the light switches and lights we have in our homes. Imagine a house owned by Alfred, which comprises of two floors. Alfred has a set of house rules which he abides by whenever he is at home. The first rule is that only one floor's lights can be switched on at any one time. The second rule is that there must always be light in the house. The light on the top floor is managed by a manual switch which Alfred can turn on and off. The lights on the ground floor are controlled by a light sensor activated switch which would turn on when it senses light coming from the top floor and turn off when the light source disappears. So how does this analogy relate to the components of the heart? In this analogy, the sinoatrial node represents the switch on the top floor of the heart. The on and off of the lights represents the squeezing action of the heart and the atrioventricular node is represented by the light sensor activated light switch which sits between the two floors. In a normal heart, the lights are controlled by Alfred operating the switch on the top floor. When he flicks the switch, the lights on the top floor comes on. This light will be detected by the light sensor switch between the two floors which will trigger the switching on of the lights on the ground floor. When Alfred notices the lights on the ground floor is on, he will switch off the lights on the top floor. As the light sensor loses the signal from the lights on the top floor, it will switch off the lights on the bottom floor. This again triggers Alfred to switch on the lights again and the cycle repeats. Each cycle of the top floor and bottom floor lighting up will represent a heartbeat. So how does this analogy apply to what is happening on an ECG? The P waves represent the moment when the light switch turns on and lights on the top floor switches on. The time from the lights turning on to the light sensor receiving the signal is represented by the PR interval. The QRS complex represents the lights on the ground floor turning on and the T wave represents lights on the ground floor turning off. This represents the cardiac cycle. In summary, the conduction system of the heart regulates the movement of the heart muscles, allowing it to contract in a synchronized fashion and promoting effective movement of blood across the different rooms of the heart. Any components of the heart can malfunction when they get affected by diseases. In the next few videos, we will be discussing different diseases affecting the conduction system of the heart and how it relates to our analogy. If you enjoyed this video or particularly enjoyed the analogy used, please like and share this video. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to support my work and enable notifications if you would like to be informed when I post my next video. Please comment below if there are any topics that you would like me to cover and I will try my best to do it. If you would like to get in touch, please email me or DM me on my social media platform. Thank you for watching.